So I'm here at the General Synod of the Church of England and over these few days we're debating the Living in Love and Faith project which has been going on for about five years. It's really important what the Church of England decides to do over the matter of sex and sexuality because we're the institutional church and we're recovering for all the Christian ministry that's going on in the country, up and down the country. If we change the way we see things, then this will be, make things difficult for those of you who are in non-denominational churches and independent churches. So there's a good number of us here at the Synod that still believe that, that the doctrines of sex and marriage in the Bible are the best for the flourishing of human beings. And in fact, that is the doctrine of the Church of England. And we've had that confirmed recently in a bishop's paper Although very distressingly yesterday in a debate, we were told by the Bishop of London that there's enormous disagreement amongst the bishops about, in particular, the place of sex in marriage, uh, because not all of them still believe that. So Christian Concern held a fringe event this morning, and we invited four wonderful faithful clergymen from around the country who have all experienced difficulties in their dioceses, in their church schools, in their churches, because they preach orthodoxy, because they believe that marriage is between a man and a woman. And they told us their stories, distressing stories, of not being supported by their diocesan bishops when they have had difficulties and even being threatened with being in breach of equality law. So these are all clergy that the Christian Legal Centre has been helping and we are thrilled to always be able to be here for people who are in these situations and helping clergy to preach truth in their churches. So please pray for us as we vote about this motion, which if it's passed, will allow the bishops to continue on their trajectory of the Living in Love and Faith project and will allow prayers to be said in public services to bless same-sex relationships and even allow separate standalone services for them. So please pray for us because it really matters for the whole Christian community in the UK that the Church of England continues to hold on to biblical truth.